Hello and welcome to the ACP Automation Channel. In this video I'd like to talk about and demonstrate how a Raspberry Pi can connect to an MQTT broker, subscribe to topics and then connect to and send data to a 30 year old industrial controller to manipulate one of its outputs. Here we have a Siemens S5135U PLC fitted with a 928B CPU. This PLC will be around 30 years old this year. The goal of the project is to be able to send a command from my smartphone and for the PLC to recognise the command and either switch on or switch off an output. This card here is an Ethernet card. I have plugged in an AUI to RJ45 converter so I can connect the PLC to my office network. The card is configured with an IP address of 192.168.1.100 and is configured to send and receive jobs on port number 1001. This card here is an IM308-A card. This is where the inputs and outputs are connected to. This is what is hanging on the other end of the IM308-A card. This is an input card which you'll be using to trigger events in the PLC. As can be seen, it has eight toggle switches. Uh, this is where inputs would normally be connected to. Uh, this card here is an eight channel digital output card. It is an output on this card which I want to control from my phone. Output Q32.4, which is this one here. So, the PLC is on the same network as the Raspberry Pi. So the Pi can send data to the PLC, and the PLC can send data to the Pi. The Pi is going to act as a sort of gateway slash interpreter between the PLC and the internet. So, here is the Pi. As can be seen, the Pi has a relay hat plugged in. This will allow the Pi to switch higher current and higher voltage loads. The control program will be written in Python 3 and I have also created a front end for the Pi. This is also written in Python 3 using the tkinter module. The MQTT library I am using is PAHO MQTT. This has already been in downloaded and installed on the Pi. On my phone I have downloaded an MQTT dashboard. This will connect to the same broker as the Pi and will publish messages to the same topic the Pi has subscribed to. I've created two buttons on the MQTT dashboard which publishes the messages Q32.4 on and Q32.4 off which is the output we want to control in the PLC. The topic is called Pi Net slash Digital Output. When one of these messages is published by my phone the MQTT library which is installed on the Pi will trigger an event in the Python program. If this message is equal to Q32.4 on then a bit will be set in a data byte. If the message is set to Q32.4 off, then the same bit is reset in the data byte. The byte is then sent to the PLC. The PLC's program will first open a data block where the Pi is writing its data into, then evaluate the data bit within the sent byte, which was set or reset by the Python program. This will in turn control Q32.4. So I will now demonstrate this working. So, let me start by opening and running the Python program. I will do this by opening idle3 under the super user. Now that idle is open, I can now open my program. So now the program is open, I can start executing it by pressing F5. When I do this, you will see the tkinter front page pop up. On the form you will see four red panels. These represent the state of the relays on the Pi. The fifth red panel is to show the state of the PLC connection. Once the PLC is connected, you will see the IP address appear and the panel will go green. At the same time, the PLC will show a good connection by extinguishing the red lamp and illuminating the green lamp, which I can show in a, video, in a separate video. So let's press F5. After the few minutes the PLC should have connected and the PLC state panel will hopefully go green, which it has there. Um, so as we can see the PLC state panel is green, the IP address has appeared here and the state of the relay outputs are off. So now with the PLC connected to the Pi, data transfer is taking place. The Pi is also connected to the MQTT broker and will be listening for messages being sent on the topic we have subscribed to. So, with my phone now connected to the MQTT broker, I will press the button which will publish Q32.4 on. 
This will in turn trigger the event on the Pi, and the Pi will switch the appropriate bit to true in the data byte being sent to the PLC. So you can see the relay at the back there, which is connected to Q32.4, has now switched on. So now I'm going to press the button which will send Q32.4 off, and as we can see, the relay switches off. On, off. Okay, so that comes to the end of my video. Please leave any comments um, if you want to know any more about the subjects we've covered in this video. Uh, and please um, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.